Hello everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and it's time for episode 110 of my question and answer series. So starting at the bottom with SB Park. Do you recommend the Apple leather case for iPhone? Can you do a review on it? What color do you prefer? Personally, I think the red looks sick on a black iPhone. I don't think I'll be able to do a review on this because Apple doesn't seem to send out review units to smaller channels. So there's a very small chance that I'll actually get one to review. I guess I could go out and buy one and return it afterwards, but that's just a bit of a pain to, to do something like this. Would I recommend it? Well, if you're not really looking for too much protection, this could be a good option for you, and if you don't really have a budget, because at $50 it's rather expensive. And looking at Apple's own Apple Store website, it has 2 out of 5 stars based on 13 reviews. I do think that the red one looks quite nice. This Friday, actually, I have a uh, review on a really slick looking red case that I think looks fantastic on the iPhone 6 Plus, so I do agree with you about the red being the preferred color of the leather case should you decide to pick that up. At $50, like I said, it's definitely pretty expensive, although it is an Apple product, so you should expect to pay more than you should for even simple accessories. From FM Peru, I know you have the wallpaper iOS 8 comes with, so my question is, I've seen, or I've been seeing your videos with your wallpaper and your text is white. How do you, I get it white every time I set it as a wallpaper, my text color is black. The same thing happens to me when I first set my wallpaper to that, it would be bla uh, black, the, the text would just be black. If I respring, the text is still black, but if I restart my iPhone 6 Plus, it'll all of a sudden change to white, which is also what I prefer. So if you've restarted and your text color is still black, I'm not sure what else to try. Every time I restart, the text goes from black to white. So. That's really all there is I can say about this. And if you have any questions that you would like me to try and answer, go ahead and leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with this video. Tune in next week for episode 111. That's it. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow with another iPhone 6 mini review.